If you have the stomach to hear some tales from beyond the grave, if you really want to find out what ghostly ghouls roam the streets of this fair city, join me later, if you dare. We'll be finding out exactly what Jane's up to a little later. But first, a new guide to the ghosts and ghouls of the Midlands has been published. And it seems the legends of ghostly goings-on abound. John Yates has been delving into the pages of this haunting tome. When manager Paul Johnston opens up his 15th century pub restaurant in Shifnal, Shropshire, even though there's nobody there... Hello? He feels somebody is. This building is very spooky indeed. Uh, there are reportedly four separate ghosts that haunt the building, and in actual fact nobody will stay in the building on their own anymore. And at the Grand Theatre Wolverhampton, staff accept that the dead still walk. Everybody who works the Grand Theatre has got a story about the ghost. Everybody has heard something or seen something or has felt the presence. So it really is affecting the whole building. Now all those ghoulies are gathered together in one volume written by a Midland medium who's over there. Well, there are literally hundreds, hundreds and thousands of ghosts all around the Midlands and the Black Country. And I personally have seen many of them myself. No one's sure of the identity of Naughty Nell's resident spirits. Well, twice now, uh, I've gone to turn on the music uh, first thing in the morning. And on each occasion, I've heard a voice say, oh no and there was nobody else in the building at all. We used to have a chef who used to uh, live in here at the pub, and he lived on the uh, third floor, and one night he, was, um, he got up in the middle of the night to go to the lavatory, and on his way back, in the room next to him, which was empty, there was a figure standing in the window looking out at the street. But at the Grand, they do know who haunts them when there's no one else around. Percy Purdy, and he used to be the theatre manager. He had a flat on the upper circle in the accounts office, and it just keeps, uh, the kettle comes on and the machine comes on and you can get a presence, you know, of coldness around you. I was cleaning here on the dress one day, cleaning the brass, and all of a sudden the doors to the auditorium opened and closed for no reason at all. And also um, I heard cups in the coffee bar being thrown and broken. Philip Solomon's book also tackles the burning issue of tuning in to paranormal activity. Well, you have to be open-minded to start with and perhaps place yourself in the right frame of mind. Especially when you're relaxed, places like where we are today, in, in a pub somewhere where you, you generally come in and relax and uh, you're very quiet or oh, exhilarated at times. Those are the sort of places that you will experience the paranormal and ghosts. Bit spooky, eh? John Yates, Midlands Today.